Welcome to day four of the hashtag Burn It Out Workout. Are you ready? It is Thursday, March 26th. We're going to get our sweat on today, folks. Oh, yeah. Time to go. So these are mountain climbers for a minute. So Mr. Rosen and Mr. Hunter are in a push-up position and they're going to try and move their knees all the way up to their elbows. the whole time. If you want to make it more difficult like Miss Chin is doing, you're not going to let your feet touch the ground and you're even going to pause at the very bottom before going back up. Reduce for one minute, 30 seconds left. Make sure you're remembering to breathe the whole time. And trying your best not to look like Mr. M doing toe touches. 15 seconds left. Do a minute of 
walk, a minute of crab walk. So you'll see how Miss Chin and Mr. Mosden have decided how far they're gonna be going. They set up the water bottle over here and the sweater over here. You'll notice how they're walking on their feet and their hands. Miss Chin walked one way on her hands and feet and now she's walking back. Mr. Mosden turned all the way around and now he's going backwards both ways. They're getting a good workout in here. You should be able to feel your heart beat. They're just over halfway. 30 seconds left, guys. 30 seconds left. Keep going. You're doing great. Mr. Mosden's starting to get a little tired. He's doing the turtle turnaround. Miss Chin is toughing it out and going the whole way. Heart for 15. Heart for 15, folks. You're feeling it. You're feeling it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go here. Almost there. Almost there. Keep going. Keep going. Five, four, three. Two, one, good job. So these are called frog jumps. You can do them in your living room. You can do them from room to room. We have used a water bottle and a sweater for our marking. You'll notice that Mr. Rose and Mr. Hunter have their legs bent and they are touching the floor every single time. Their eyes are up. They're looking where they're going. And once they reach their target, they're just turning around. Alright, both Miss Chin and Mr. Mosden are doing plank here, you should too. You notice their footwork is a little bit different. Mr. Mosden's nice and tight feet and he's nice and straight. Miss Chin's a little bit more knees bent so she should engage her core a tiny little bit more there to straighten that out. Good job. So they're gonna do this for a minute. The first 30 seconds, they're gonna show you a standard plank. All right, and in five seconds, they're going to switch and they're gonna show you a more difficult version. Miss Chin, three, two, one, go. Okay, you'll notice Mr. Mosden is doing an up, up, down, down, where he lifts himself down, engaging his core the whole time. You'll notice how Miss Chin is alternating which arm and leg she is uh, putting forward and backwards. So you'll notice left arm, right leg, the idea what is that your core stays activated the whole time. Right arm, left leg, and back to plank position. Hard for five, folks, hard for five. You're almost there. Three, two, one, good job. Oh. All right, folks, we are going to do balance on one leg. We're gonna do this for a minute, 30 seconds on one leg, 30 seconds on the other. You'll notice how Mr. Mosden is doing his best to find his inner zen. He's staying as still as possible, whereas Miss Chin is doing a difficult one. She is holding herself in balance, but then she's lowering herself to the ground. Five seconds left before we switch legs. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch legs. Switch to your opposite leg. Good job, keep it up folks, we're halfway there. Feel that burn? If you are doing either of these two, you should be engaging your core. That's gonna help you stand still. A few more tips. Mr. Mosden is focused on a single spot on the floor, and that is helping him keep his balance. And Miss Chin, I imagine, is doing the same thing, staring at the line right in front of her. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and good job. Mr. Hunter has his legs straight and Mr. Rosen has his 